my name is Roger Moore and I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I run a company called Cash Flow Club and um, it's really like some more of a business school of sorts. Uh, we found a, a really creative and innovative way to uh, and a consistent way to raise more entrepreneurs and investors and you know increase their success rate. So for the past seven years we've trained probably hundreds of them and got them to start their own businesses, got them to invest in real estate, you know, all of them are very, very successful. Actually, we started for fun back in 2004 while I was still at business school. Um, we just, we all read Rich Dad Poor Dad and we were really into those books. We really good. Um, we tell them every book is what the rich teacher gets about money that the point of the last one. And um, the, the guy that wrote the book actually invented a board game that teaches the same thing. So we thought it was fun, a good idea to you know, invest in a board game and start playing it. Um, we need to realize how much it actually taught. And it was, it was, Quite an eye opener, and um, we just kept it going. People have come together to play a cash game, it's, it's called a cash club. Um, and we just kept these sessions going every month, and we invited other people that were more knowledgeable than us about real estate and businesses and that kind of thing. And the club just kept on growing and growing and growing over the years until we started running out of space in school and started running out of space at home and started running out of space at churches. We had sessions everywhere. And now we are. Um, we purchased the franchise in 2008. Now we do seminars and attending courses throughout the country. Um, they can just join our attending course. We have a attending course running right now in Port Bay, Garden Life on St. Vincent Street um, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Just come, you pay, and you play, and you do as much as you can. By far, that's the most important thing. We have a lot of entrepreneurs that want to start businesses. You know, some brave enough to actually quit their jobs and go after it. And that's a huge mistake because a lot of them don't have a sales background. And we tell them from the start, they say you have to get, you have to learn how to sell. You have to get into network marketing, sell insurance, sell something. Learn how to sell first. That takes a while. It took me about two years. Um, you know, perfect sales first and then go into business. Of course, you have to learn how to read financial statements, which is the second most important skill financial statements and investments. And that's where we come in. But we can't teach people how to sell that yet. And not as yet. Hopefully soon. But you know, that's um yeah, that's one thing everybody has to perfect. That's one of the major reasons the failure to business is so high. Because people don't know that. They think business knowledge is the most important thing. They do a, a degree in business or a masters and they try to go into business because they know everything and it's wrong. You know. They look, some of the new members right now in the cash club they know the name that they have with. I have one guy who just started a business a couple of months ago. He has a lot of business experience in terms of managerial experience, working for other people. And he just started his own business with his wife. His wife is an accountant, very highly educated. They know their thing, they know their stuff. She's a business consultant as well, you know. But they started their business and they're struggling. The sales are coming in. Why is this happening? So, of course, they come to me with those questions and I, and I told them straight, you know. You all don't have a sales background. You don't know how to, you know, make cold calls. You don't know what cold calls are. You know, you don't know how to use testimonials. You don't know how to use referrals. And that is where you're falling apart. And they didn't believe me at first until I started going through the books with them and explaining to them, you know, why they're failing. When you begin and trying to with them, that's an eight parts of a successful business and investment. Show them what the weaknesses were. Show them what books they had to read and why they should continue to come to the cash flow to keep on hearing them. And so by the end of that meeting which was actually last Saturday, you know, they realized, you know, they needed to get cracking and, you know, probably do a sales course or something because they're in trouble.